Warning, Superpower Review is intended for a mature viewing audience. This video may show images that are not suitable for kids under 13 years old. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up everybody, it's Kevin Vidini here for Superpower Review. And on today's video, I'm going to be participating in the Are You a Comic Book Nerd Challenge. So shout out to Asian Funk Comics for nominating me for this video. I'm very excited to answer these 25 questions. But before I answer these 25 questions, it is important that you like this video, comment in the comment section, and subscribe to the channel if you are new here to show your support to the channel. So let's get started with question number one. Have you ever nitpicked a comic book over its condition? Yes, I have nitpicked many comic books over condition. Now I gotta say, I was not uh, picky on condition when I got back into collecting comic books around 2015. As long as the book wasn't like toilet paper, I could care less. As long as it was an actual solid copy of what I was looking for, if I liked the artwork, if I liked the cover, if I liked the character, then I was just going to pick up that book. Have you ever sniped anyone on eBay? I have totally sniped people in the past before to buy comic books on eBay. My most recent purchase that I sniped somebody on eBay was my Swamp Thing number one CGC 9.4. I won by $10 and I sniped that person in the, or persons, in the last three seconds. Have you ever paid over a hundy for a book or gone over your budget? I regretfully have to say yes on this question. I have paid over a hundred dollars on comic books numerous times, more than I could count to be honest. Last year, I was a monster at buying comic books. I was buying comic books left and right. I ended up buying my Hulk 181 last year, so I was definitely over budget. Have you ever complained about specking or flipping? Listen, I really don't care what other collectors do or what other people do. If you're not hurting anybody, then I really don't care. Have you ever given or received a comic as a gift? So I'm gonna have to answer like two yeses on this question. Yes, I have given a comic book as a gift. So my best friend Jake Brunell, we were at a con one time and he was looking for a Raphael number one. We ended up finding it and when we were attending that comic con, it was his birthday weekend. So I ended up buying that Raphael number one for him. He ended up getting that book signed by Kevin Eastman, signed and sketched I should say. He put a really cool Casey Jones remark on the book. And then he submitted that book to CGC, got slabbed and pressed and cleaned, and that book came back a 9.2, which was really cool. And then I was also given last Christmas, my wife ended up buying me two slabbed books. It was Batman Year One, parts one and two, both signed by Frank Miller. And those were a 9.0 and a 9.2. As an adult, have you ever decorated your home in comic paraphernalia? So clearly that's an easy question to answer. As you can see behind me, I have my shelf of statues and this is in my bedroom. So the answer to that question is yes. Have you ever skipped work to read or buy comics? Definitely no, no, I have not done that. I mean, I'll definitely go to the comic book shop during my lunch break at work or after work, but uh, I have never skipped work or have never gone to the comic book shop during work time, no. Have you ever paid to go to a con? I mean, yeah, of course I do. I mean, how does everybody else get into a comic con? I appreciate comic cons, you know what I mean? I appreciate all the hard work that goes into making a con, you know, uh, getting the celebrities, getting the comic book artists, getting the comic book vendors and, you know, etc. So, yeah, I'm gonna throw money at a con and, and go and, and enjoy it and show my support to the comic book community. Have you ever paid to get an autograph, photo, or sketch? To anybody who knows me, that answer is yes. I absolutely love signed comic books. I'm always getting comic books signed, whether they are graded or self-witnessed by me. I've never paid a artist or a writer uh, to take a photo with them. I've, I have taken photos with them, but I've never had to pay to do that. And I've also paid artists to sketch on my comic books as well, so yes. Have you ever bought multiple copies of a book? I'm just gonna roll this video, and this video is going to prove that the answer to this question is a clear yes. Have you 
you ever bought multiple covers of a book? Do I have to roll that video again? The answer is clearly yes. Have you ever complained that you need to downsize your collection for space? Okay, so this is a ongoing problem with my collection, okay? And my collection is not even that big, to be honest. I literally have four short boxes and maybe 30 slabs, okay? But, you know, when I read a book, and that book doesn't reach my expectations. If I don't like it, then that book rather gets sold or I give it away because I can't keep books that I dislike in the collection. They just take way too much space and I gotta get rid of them as soon as possible. Have you ever sent a book for grading? Yes, I have sent a book out to grading, but I have never sent in a raw book to grading. The books that I've sent in for grading are rather getting pressed and cleaned by CGC, or I slapped a signature on them. Have you ever sent a book in for cleaning or pressing? Yes. So I am a firm believer in pressing and cleaning your comic books as long as they have pressable cleaning defects to them. I was against it at first because I thought it was kind of a scam, but when uh, when I first sent in my first book to get pressed and cleaned and it got a two grade bump, which was my Amazing Spider-Man number 300, that was a 9.0 and got a 9.4. Ever since then, I was a firm believer in pressing and cleaning your books. If you guys are not pressing and cleaning your books, you're definitely doing some of your books a disservice. Have you ever bought chases or store exclusives? Okay, I'm not sure what a chase is, but the answer to this question is a definite yes. If you are talking about store exclusives, Bulletproof Comics is a comic store, Scorpion Comics is a comic store, and they are always coming out with variant covers, and I am a sucker for them, and I'm always buying them, so the answer to this question is yes. Have you ever traded comics? No, I have never traded a comic book. Um, I've definitely had a lot of people on Instagram message me if they uh, could trade a comic book with me and I would be willing to do it, but I don't want to in case if I were to get scammed. You know, I could send in that book and that person is not, you know, meeting their end of the bargain and they don't send me their book and now I am out of a book that I owned, I lost value, and I didn't get a book back to retain that value. So, no, I've never traded a comic book, and I don't plan to ever either. Have you ever waited to get tickets to a comic book movie? No, I have never waited for tickets for a comic book movie. When it comes to comic book movies, I'm not always in a rush to go see them because I know there are going to be lots of people there and I don't like lots of people. I also get really anxious at a theater, so I'll wait a couple of days or maybe to a week for that movie to clear and then I'll go buy my tickets, but I'm not waiting for tickets, okay? I go up to the, up to the counter, I buy my ticket, and I go see the movie, so no. Have you ever got into a fight or physical altercation because of comics? Listen, I am a person who hates negativity, okay? So when I am faced with negativity or if, you know, if someone is being pushy about something, then I'm going to back away and I'm not going to talk, okay? Because I'm, I'm just not about that. So the answer to this is no, okay? I have not gotten into a fight or a physical altercation about comic books because I'm not all about that. I just want to be in peace, <laughs> you know, uh, talk about comics freely. I want us all as a comic book community to be able to speak freely about what we enjoy in comic books and what we dislike in comic books as well. And you know, to us all have respect for that person's opinion as well. Have you ever trolled online or got into a post-war over comics? So this is gonna be the same answer as the last question and the answer is no because again, I don't like negativity, I don't want to be a part of it, so no, absolutely not. Have you ever dressed up as an adult as a comic character? Oh my goodness, I have the best story to tell you. <laughs> um, I used to volunteer at this haunted house uh, and it was for charity. Now, this is uh, when I was like 18. I remember buying a Spider-Man 
costume from like, I don't know, Walmart or something. It was super cheap. And I remember cutting holes in it, ripping it to shreds, putting fake blood on it, taking it outside, rubbing it in the dirt. Um, I cut out the, the big hole in the mask because I was trying to come up with a zombie Spider-Man costume. I even bought prosthetics where, uh, you know, my teeth were showing through and I got cuts and scars and I put contacts in my eyes. One time, this dad brought in his kid, <laughs> and which was a big mistake, and uh, I didn't know he had a kid with him, and I was doing my thing, I was doing my zombie Spider-Man act, and this poor kid, I broke this kid's heart, man. This kid was absolutely scared out of his mind, and he's crying, he's going, Spider-Man, why would you do this to me, why? I felt absolutely horrible. After the dad and the kid left the haunted house, I had to run out to this little boy. I was, I took my mask off, I took my prosthetics off, uh, and you know, I was like, buddy, I am so sorry I scared you. You know, Spider-Man is a good guy, okay? I'm not Spider-Man, I'm just a person trying to play a bad Spider-Man, okay? I'm so sorry I scared you. Probably scarred that kid for the rest of his life. <laughs> The answer is yes, I have dressed as a comic book character in my adult years and uh, I've definitely done it more times in the past as well. Have you ever lied about collecting comics? All right, so this question bothers me a little bit. Have I lied about collecting comic books? Absolutely not. What is there to lie about? If I lied about collecting comic books, then that would mean that I am embarrassed of collecting comics, which would not be true to myself. I wouldn't be true to my uh, personality or what I like and what I enjoy. If you don't like that I collect comic books, if you have a problem with me collecting comic books, then that's totally on you and I'm gonna continue doing what I like to do because that's what makes me happy. Have you ever flipped or specced on a book? Yes, I have flipped a book one time. Everybody remembers Batman Damned, right? Where it shows Batman's dingling, right? So that book was going for a good amount of money because DC pulled it from the shelves, right? So I put that book on eBay, starting bid at cover price, and that book ended up selling for $120. So yes, I have flipped a book before. Have you ever bought a figure or a statue of a comic character? Okay, I think that settles that question. <laughs> Have you ever cried or been angry over reading a comic? Have I cried? No. Have I been angry? Yes. So uh, that, that answers the question, yes. Uh, I have been angry at reading a comic book because, you know, it's rather uh, a waste of time because the story wasn't good or the ending was awful or the artwork wasn't good, so yes. Do you have a comic related tattoo? No, I don't. I wish I did have one. I do want a Venom tattoo in the future. Just haven't picked out a design that I quite like yet, so the answer is no. Alright guys, so that's all 25 questions of are you a comic book nerd? And with all of the answers that I said yes to, I would definitely think it's safe to say that yes, I am a comic book nerd. So yet again, I want to thank Asian Funk Comics for nominating me to do this challenge. It was a lot of fun, and I'm definitely gonna keep this challenge going by tagging these YouTube channels. I'm going to nominate Perry Comics, Rod the Rican and his comics, The Comic Jabroni, John's Comics with Kids, and The Boy Who Had Seven Talks comic books. Gentlemen, I look forward to hearing your answers for this challenge. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.